welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll discuss about the functional keys in the keyboard so if you observe the keyboard so you'll be having a different keys so you will be having the alphabets the numericals some special keys like tab caps lock shift control function start alt space bar and arrow marks page down page up all these are some special keys and apart from this you can find the functional keys here so you can find the f f1 f2 f3 so in f uh, f5 up to f12 we'll be having some 12 functional keys now we'll see the importance of each and every functional key right so in some keyboards you will be finding the special key that is a functional key if you want to execute the f1 you have to press this functional key plus f1 right so let us start with this one so first one f1 so if you press f1 that is for completely help window right so whatever the active window is it is open so the help will be open for that particular window so if you go with this one so uh, here i am having some notepad so i'm just pressing the f1 so i will get the help in f uh, i mean help in notepad okay so you can see that get help with notepad in windows 10 and if you go with the some word document so let us take some word document win word and just press f1 so here we'll get help in word document Okay, so F1 will give the help for the active window. Coming to the F2. So F2 gives the rename, renaming of a file. Okay, that's best one. F2 will enable you to rename the file. So if you, if you see this one, so I'll just select this folder and press F2 so that it will be asking for the rename. Okay, it will change it to the editable format so that we can change the name. So whatever the file you can uh, select and just press F2 so that we can change the name. Okay. Now F3. F3. So F3 is used to open find window. Find window. Okay. F3 is used to open find video. You can observe here. So a notepad is open. Now I am pressing F3 so that it will open the find window similarly if you go with the word just press f3 so you'll get the find window okay so like this we f3 is used to open the find window right and also if you go with the word document if you write something see i'm writing some python programming so I, I will increase the font size so that you can observe. So shift plus F3. So in keyboard, you will be having the shift button. So just select the text, shift, click on the shift and press the F3 so that it will be changed to see, you can observe here. So it will be changed to lowercase to uppercase uppercase if, if there is an uppercase just pressing shift plus f3 it will change to the, to the lowercase and again the capitalized capitalized means the first letter of every word will be capital letter you can change all these things by using the uh, shortcut key that is a shift plus f3 shift plus f3 okay so it will change the upper to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase as well as the capitalized right next f4 f4 so coming to the f4 so this f4 is also used to open the find window open find window right just f4 just plus the f4 See, just press the F4, uh, it will give the find. Okay, it will find the this one. See, you can find, get the find window. 
and coming to the f4 this f4 if you press alt and f4 then automatically the page will be closed okay see it was it was prompting to save the file if i don't want to save automatically the file will be closed okay so i will open the file and again i will show you so just go with the alt f4 so the file will be closed so f4 is used to open the find window as well as close the open window and coming to the f5 so this one is to close and f5 is to refresh the browser refresh the browser so whatever the browser we are opening so that will be refreshed okay you can observe here so i am opening my our channel see so our channel will be opened and uh, sorry see our channel is open and if i want to uh, refresh the page automatically just click the f5 f5 okay automatically you can see the page has been refreshed again once again if you press again the page will be refreshed that means mainly the f5 is used to refresh the browser okay and also in the word if you open the word this f5 will be used to get the replace see replace go to find and all these things will be opened by pressing f5 so just go to the word and just click on f5 you will get the find and replace window so here you you can find the string or replace the strings or you can simply go to that particular page number so all these things will be opened by pressing f5 and the next one is f6 f6 so this will move the cursor to the address bar of your browser address bar of your browser see for example if you go with this this one so i am opening the site okay so i have opened this one and now if you want to go move the cursor to this address bar so without using the mouse just press the f6 button so that the address bar will be in the editable format okay here you can edit so without moving the mouse directly just by pressing the f6 the address bar will be in an editable format now you can change it okay so without the mouse movements so by using the shortcut key f6 we can change the url right and coming to the f7 f7 so f7 is used to spell check and grammar check in the word word document okay spell check and grammar check in word document so for example if you go with this one uh, I, I will write some sort of text hello welcome to python programming by sandeep sarathi right so i have given like this so if i want to check the spellings okay if i want to check the spellings so no need to go uh, with the mouse so directly simply by using the functional key f7 directly we will get the spell check and grammar check see i will press the f7 so directly you will get this spellings and grammars okay see here you can find uh, the spelling mistake so now i will go with the f7 so that directly it will give the spelling right so here you can find the spelling so welcome 
suggestions these are the suggestions so you'll get the spell check and grammar check by pressing the f7 in one windows word okay next f8 f8 so this key is used to access our computer in a safe mode during the booting process access in the safe mode during booting process so while booting if you press f8 the system the operating system will be opened in a safe mode okay so for that purpose we'll go with the f8 okay so f9 so there is uh, in previously we are having some sort of uh, functionality but in, in the latest keyboard so we are not having that uh, f9 okay so let us move with the f10 f10 is used to activate the menu bar okay f10 is used to activate the menu bar so i will show you that activate menu bar so if you want to open the menu so you can see if you want to open the file so without using the mouse pointer so you need to go with uh, you have to select the alt f okay similarly alt e for edit alt f for format similarly so if you press this f8 so go with the word i will show you here so you here you can find it so if you press f8 sorry it's a f10 okay f10 you can observe the highlighted keys so you if you press f you will get a file okay so just press the f10 and if you want to open the home press h so that home menu will be opened if you want to open view just go with the w so i will click w so that view will be opened and here also you can find the different letters so if you want to go with the read mode press f so that it will be in a read mode okay so like this we can have the highlights of a shortcut letters okay by pressing the f10 by pressing the f10 okay so like this we can use the f10 key and coming to the f11 f11 is used to open the browser in a full screen okay full screen mode full screen mode okay appearing the browser in the full screen mode so normally the browser you can observe here and if you open the browser and click on f11 see this is the full screen mode there will be no address bar and all the menu options directly the full screen will be displayed and if you want to exit from the full screen again just press the f11 so that it will exit from the full screen right and this is all about our f11 and coming to the f12 f12 is used to open i mean save as open the save as in a word word document okay save as in word document so i will open the word document i have written something uh, like this so so if i want to save this document i have to go with the file and open i mean click the save as so that we'll get this one otherwise you can also have this one so directly click on f12 so it will open save as okay you can observe here this is save as it will open the save as window so here you can give the file name and you can save right so f12 is used to open i mean save as open the save as window in the word document right so I, I think it's clear so these are the uh, different functional keys available in our keyboard keyboard and uh, the importance of these functional keys so in the further sessions i will give you the shortcuts the keyboard shortcuts both the alt and the control shortcuts so for this session i will stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.